Okay, this is a challenge. Not just for you, but for me. Who can sleep the earliest? Who can sleep the longest? I've been thinking about doing this video for a couple weeks. And I'm just getting it to it today. A day where I happen to be really tired. Which is why I haven't done a video in five days. And it's just time to make one. And I've been trying to improve my sleep for the last 15 years. And I just haven't done well enough. So now I need to challenge myself. And I'm hoping you all will join in and we can make a, a challenge out of it, a competition. Every day I try to get to sleep earlier. <laughs> And every day it doesn't work. I usually turn in around 10, and get to sleep around 10.30. There's been a couple days recently I didn't get to sleep till 2. That's right. The TV's off, the computer's off, the light's off. And it's just me laying there for four hours. And that only happens when I've made up a lot of sleep. When I lose sleep, I then sleep really well after that. And I always get to a point where I can't make up anymore. Yeah, I still have tiredness. And of course, stress is going to keep me from ever making up all that I need. So for me, the key is to reduce stress and to start de-stressing early early on like 6.30 now here's some tips that anybody can use and what I've learned is that's the most important thing is that we're talking about ending the day earlier sleeping earlier and what gets in the way what ultimately gets in the way is that there's still things to do. You know, if you ended, if you're ending the day at 11, that means you're waking up at a certain time and you start the day, and and you got a full day of things you do, most of us. Mm -hmm. And then that gets you ending the day at the same time, 11 o'clock. In order to change that, in order to make it 10, which is what I recommend wherever we're all at. The challenge is to get to bed an hour earlier. And to do that, you have to end your day an hour earlier. Your, everything you do on that day has to be pushed back. What that takes is discipline. Also, I have to watch the clock. <laughs> Sometimes I get too busy and don't realize time is passing. And the reason this is so important well, I'm putting this out here to all the raw foodists, or basically healthy eaters, is that you can only get so far with food. Anybody on a high plant, high raw, high fruit diet is eating a real healthy diet. But if your sleep, is, if your sleep habits are not good, then your diet's going to waste. I see this a lot on the internet, people eating healthy, but they're not sleeping early. I saw this with a YouTuber, and she was just always having problems. She would, it, sleep is one, on, one thing she would not <laughs> change. Because she kept going in the wrong direction, focusing on juice piece. Oh man, that's what. And she had just a whole bunch of problems. And 
one day, three years ago, I listed all these problems <laughs> below our video to emphasize that she's so toxic and not healing. Well, she took offense at that and banned me. Only raw foodist ever banned me. Block, block me. Yeah. With, with the situation and a person like that. There's just about no hope. And sure enough, she stopped making videos soon after that. It's been three or four years. And I know there's just no difference. If you're not willing to do what it takes, you have to have all your plates spinning. Like someone who says, <laughs> like somebody says that I can't mention his name anymore. You're only as strong as your, you're only as healthy as your weak, weakest link. For me, that's sleep and stress. For you, it could be other things, but there's plenty of people out there who just don't have their sleep down. And so I say, we gotta sleep the, up. This is the challenge we need. We don't need 100% raw challenge. We don't need a banana island challenge. <laughs> We've had enough of those. Speaking of juice fasts, I just heard this in Durian Rider's new video. I'm not sure this is correct, but apparently um, raw Christina is on a diet. <laughs> no. <laughs> None of us are on diets. We don't have to die. Which reminds me of some, one of her tweets I saw. <laughs> you know, I'm just uh, connecting this right now. She correctly made the, a statement that this is not a diet. This is a lifestyle. Right, we're on this lifestyle. So we don't need to diet anymore. So I don't know what she's doing. I haven't been able to find anything on it. But she has gained weight. But she was real skinny before. Does she want to be that skinny? In one of my last videos, <laughs> I ranted for like 22 minutes about how this is not an anorexic diet. Meanwhile, she's over there, wants to be the face of raw foodism. And Harley also said that Christina goes to bed too late at night. So this is like a trend. <laughs> it seems to be real common. So, and it, and it goes to show you that eating right is easy. Like I said, eating this way, it's easy being healthy and, and eat the way we're meant to. So it's time that we healthy eaters <laughs> fixed our weakest links improved our overall lifestyles so we can show the world exactly how good this diet is. I've been doing raw for six years now and it's time I really found out what this diet can do. So far <laughs> I've just been sitting around on the internet. Sure I don't get sick Yeah, I feel pretty good mentally. So much more. This challenge sounds easy. All you got to do is go to bed an hour earlier. And then, here, here's the good thing. Once you've done that, then you, your life is all adjusted. You go to bed early, you wake up earlier, and then you have the full day. It's just an hour earlier. I was thinking we do this every we do this every year with the time change. That's because we're forced to. So the challenge is on. So let's put pressure on ourselves. 
put pressure on yourself. Tell us all by leaving a comment below what time you fall asleep. And if it's past 1030, then accept the challenge. The challenge is, let's say, half hour every night until you're turning in at 9 o'clock. And then we will all follow up on our comments to say if we we did it or not. Because if you didn't do it, then that's more pressure. <laughs> that's about it. And also, you can share the challenge by sharing this video.